New report exposes Hindu, Hindu nationalist influence in the United States. Recently, a report published in the South Asia Citizens Web showed a network of related organizations in the United States responsible for informational campaigns and fundraising. The report mapped the, quote, Hindu nationalist ecosystem in the United States using, quote, data mining of tax records and government filings, public statements, websites, and news reporting. The report said networks of Hin Hindutva organizations that trace their roots to the uh, huh, Rastriya Swayam Savak Sang, or RSS, in India, have been Nailed fueling it. its counter... <laughs> have been fueling its counterpart organization in the United States. Religious minorities have accused the RSS of fostering intolerance and hate. One example was found in the U.S. State uh, Depart the U.S. Department of Justice's filings between 2017 and 2020. It showed that the BJP-led government of India actively lobbied for its interests in the U.S. Congress. According to the report, lobbying groups were paid on average between $15,000 and about $58,000 per month. It also revealed that former representative and presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard received at least $110,000 from Hindutva-affiliated organizations and individuals. Hey, that the explains a lot. <laughs> the report listed 24 Hindutva organizations in the U.S. with a combined network of more than 97 million. Tulsi, Tulsi, Tulsi's positions make a lot more sense now. A Democrat, too. Yes. Well, not really, but okay. I mean, that's her party really? affiliation. Well, not really. I mean, it officially... I, it, yeah, she's more she's more of a Republican. I don't know. Didn't she change parties? Because she is by heart a Republican. Um, I don't know, but I know that she yeah. ran in the Democratic. I know, I know election. that. Anyways, you have to um, yes. So I because what I just said right here was like just a snippet, and then I want to dive into some more findings of the report, and I have a nice little graphic to show everyone, because I, I read part of the report. One thing that I should note that I think it's important, because, you know, responsible media media consumers, um, is that this report was not peer-reviewed. It hasn't been submitted in any journal. Um, yeah, so it hasn't gone through the standards of rigor of peer review, which would obviously make this a much more author authoritative document. So, you know, just, just, I thought it's important to say that. Um, and so let's get into some more findings from this report. So, um, here is a little graphic that kind of breaks down like, uh, the key findings of this report. So between 2012 and 2020, there were 222 shakas or ca chapters were held of the Hindu, uh, these words, Swayam Savak Sang, or HSS, in the United States, impacting more than 45,000 families. So the HSS is the American equivalent of the RSS, for those who don't know. Um, 100 congressional offices were visited by HSS volunteers, coordinated by the Hindu America American Foundation, which... Those of us who follow Atheist Republic will be familiar with the Hindu American Foundation because they were the group that wrote the open letter that said that they were opposed to including um, uh, caste as uh, a protected category and anti-discrimination uh, measures. They, they, they opposed that anti-discrimination measure. Three. 100 over 100 temples participated in the 2017 Hin Hindu Mandir Executive Conference, which is a project of the Vishwa Hindu Parishad of America. The Vishwa Hindu Parishad or VHP is another massive, um, like song or um, Hindu for organization. It, 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 the VHP in India has a huge influence and also it should be noted that a vhp spokesperson filed police reports against armin because of his <laughs> because of his uh kalima blasphemy so we're very familiar with the vhp over here 
Um, over 800 US-based Indians were coordinated to travel to India to campaign for Narendra Modi by Global Indians for Bharat Vikas in 2014. Over $158 million were spent by seven song affiliated charities between 2001 to 2019, largely sent to India. So when this report refers to song, they, they, they that's how they refer to Hindutva. Um, between 15, oh, I already said that one. Okay. 30, 13 million was pledged to the Dharma Civilization Foundation towards impacting US academic institutions. $142,000 was received by the Hindu American Foundation from the HSS linked Urobi no Uberoi Foundation, partly towards revising California public school textbooks, which, okay. This report also revealed that over $800,000 of COVID relief funds went towards Hindutva nonprofits. So that means that my tax dollars, my tax dollars are going to the Hindu American Foundation and they use that money to campaign the California Board of Education to not talk about caste oppression and Dalits in school books. It's okay. Wow. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. The, the Canada is being taken over by the Sikhs. Okay. And we will come save United States from Hindus once we're fully Sikh. How about that? Oh my God. This yeah. Should be a so war. that was something that yeah. was something that I learned that my tax dollars are being learned for today. Good. That they're, they're being used for that. Like I was, I was really happy to learn that today. So that was great. Um, <laughs> Um, so secular prayer is saying, yeah, F that nonsense. Um, what else? $172,000 was spent by the Hindu American Foundation's sister group, the Hindu American Political Action Campaign to influence U.S. elections. And $117,000 was received by Congress member Raja Krishna Murthy campaign from HPAC and song affiliated, HAPAC and song affiliated persons. Oh, so, this is revenge. Like, this is revenge. He's like, you're you're screwing up with our country. You're like, we'll stop your tax dollars coming for Christian missionaries, okay? So Susie, you're sending your tax dollars to ruin India with your Christian missionaries. They're just ruining United States for making your tax dollars go to Hinduism. It's just tit for tat. Hey, if we, co if we keep going by this That's rate, cultural that exchange. <laughs> <laughs> this culture. No, Canada will be Sikh, India will be Christian, United States will be Hindu. Fantastic. Wait, let's zoom in. Yeah, read this. So this was also um a really handy little chart that they made that shows these different organizations and shows how this is kind of like the four categories that things fall into. So this money either goes towards influencing US Congress members and government bodies, and then it names the organizations that did that pressuring U.S. boards of education, like I was just talking about, influencing U.S.-based higher education institutions. So this comes in the form of these organizations having a lot of money, and then they give grants to different educational departments and colleges, basically asking them to emphasize certain things. And it's their effort to saffronize the telling of Indian history by influencing um their the, the the historical departments and in fact ma many of these um colleges have even like did investigations and been like actually we found out who this money is coming from and we're gonna refuse it millions of dollars because they were like no this is a bad agenda send um, us, and hey atheist republic is a non-profit send the, send your hindutva money to us okay we're making why would so they many... ever do that <laughs> because we're making their gods look fabulous huh no Oh, <laughs> you starting to speak my language. Um, <laughs> it's it's pride. I have to. <laughs> that's right, baby. Time. Happy pride, um, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, oxymoron. Hey, actually, they are already doing it. Oxymoron is Hindutva, and he is supporting us. So we are getting Hindutva. Actually, true. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Oxymoron. Oxymoron is a representative of Hindutva here in Atheist Republic. 
the 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 token hindupa um so yeah i thought this report was really interesting like i said i am taking it with a grain of salt because this hasn't gone through the processes of like academic ex examination and rigor um but i read like the the main findings and some of the introduction but i do someday want to take the time to read all 93 pages of it because it was very informative and they flagged multiple instances because this was based on like publicly available documents that they just went through the trouble of going to go attain and they were they flagged multiple instances where they're like i think some of these organizations are involved in illegal or improper behavior with the money that they're using and the way that's being moved in between these groups what was also very interesting is that they found that a ton what i thought was so interesting was that on tracking the money i thought it was gonna it a lot of this report is about Hindutva influence in America, but it's also about America's influence on Hindutva because it talks about the millions and millions of millions of dollars that are sent by these nonprofits to Hindutva orgs in India. Like they're going back if money from America is actually funding these groups in India. So I thought that was so interesting because that was, I was a, really expecting the report to really just be about like the reverse flow of influence. But I was shocked to learn how much is actually the other way around. Okay. Um, Eric is saying America has all kinds of lobby groups, Saudi lobby, Qatar lobby, Turkey lobby, Iran lobby. Uh, there's no India lobby. There's only Hindu for lobby. There's no India lobby. I'm sure there's also an India lobby. No. I mean, so, the Indian government has its own lobbies. What I was talking about yeah. in the summary of this news was like how the BJP led government spent that money. Um, I don't fully believe that at all. Like there are millions and millions of Indian Americans with very um, diverse views and influences on this nation. And they definitely have their own lobbies as well. Whether they are representative of the Indian government. I don't know. But there is no one India. There is no one India lobby. That that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Um, cool. This is this is good. So the more we know about these connections, the more when something comes out, you know, about any one of these groups we, in the news uh, that we cover them, we could be like, by the way, these people be connected to these people. So it's good to all have the money that Tulsi Gabbard got. I was like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey how about we hold the hindu gods hostage okay we're like we'll stop what? our blasphemous art if we get like a million dollars from a, any hindu group that spends <laughs> and gives us a million we're holding your gods hostage okay we have all your gods collected in the most sexiest ways possible by the way for people who are new here we make blasphemous art of hindu gods and goddesses link in the description um but yeah, we'll we'll stop. We'll stop if you provide us with a million dollars. How about that? But the oh, thing wait, is that Bubble they like is... it. Oh. <laughs> Bubble is saying, sad to have missed the good part of the show. Two people died today in the profit protest. This stuff be crazy. Bubble, go back to the beginning of the show. We talked about it in depth. And I want your opinion on how I covered it. So please give me your feedback. Message me, girl. It's good to see you. Anyways. <laughs> wait, wait. Um okay and also this one oxymoron is saying there's also there's a new ambedkar communist lobby too okay i don't know if it's actually it might be actually new communist but i don't trust you oxymoron because any i think like you might be calling things that are not communist communists just because they're the left of you but anyways there might be communists but okay so there's that interesting atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.